Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video. My name is Namalina and today we are once again reviewing another South African Instagram boutique. I'm really excited about today's boutique. The name of the Instagram boutique, and I'm sure you guys have seen this somewhere with your favorite influencers, just in general, they have a good following. Um, their following is 165,000 followers at the time of making this video. The company's name is Sassy underscore Divas with three A's. Um, I will link it down in the description box guys. And then they have their phone number in the bio and they say they don't take urgent orders. Okay, so if you go through their page guys, they are one of those um, boutiques or Instagram boutiques that sell items that are essentially available from New Feeling and Small Street. Like literally most if not all of the items here are the same pictures that you keep seeing on each and every single Instagram boutique. I am not seeing any original pictures so far um, at the time of looking at this. They just have tons and tons of the same pictures that you guys see. Um, small street pictures and um, what do they call it? And new feeling pictures. Uh, because you guys know new feeling does supply a lot of people. You can go there and you can open an account and you can become a wholesaler. You can buy items from them wholesale. Um, they are they have two stores at Dragon City in Johannesburg, um, here in Gauteng. Okay, so it's very easy to get access to them and you just purchase items um, with stock with stock price and then you resell them. Okay, so when I came across that page, I'd actually been um, keeping an eye on that page for some time. Um, and one of the things I looked for was comments, do they, do they respond to comments, um, things like that. And then also seeing um, are their comments switched off or restricted, which they are not. Unfortunately, there is zero to no engagement um, on their posts. So I don't know if they bought their followers because most of these posts have one or two comments literally like and this is a page that has like 160 something um thousand followers so i don't know if they bought the account if they bought the followers or what is going on this is just an absurdly abnormal amount of engagement like it just like it makes zero sense especially for a shop that sells clothing like i don't understand what like and the comments are not restricted or turned off okay so I'm seeing four comments. I'm seeing, okay, this one has 15 comments and they have responded to two of the comments. They didn't respond to the rest. Why are they not responding to people? That's so rude. Anyway, yeah, literally I'm seeing like two to 10 comments per post. Like that seems to be the average, two to 10 comments for a page that has 165,000 followers. A bit concerning, um, but more concerning than the engagement is that when people do engage, they don't respond, and I don't know why. Regardless, because my job here is to spend my own money from an Instagram boutique, a South African Instagram boutique, order undercover. I'm not using my public profile, Namolina. I'm using undercover everything, fake phone number, fake everything, guys. I'm going undercover for you guys, and I'm purchasing from these companies to see if they'll actually deliver and using my own money. So the good news is they did deliver, but I want to take you guys through our conversation. Um, on the Instagram bio, they do not say how to order. Okay, like on their bio, they do not say how to order, but on the, I forgot what it's, ca it's called, it's escaping me guys, because I'm literally filming at like 2.10 to 10 at night, so excuse me, but those circles at the top, I'm really sorry, like I know the name, but Yan Chavela. Um, they just have sneakers, RMX, Happy Clients, Sassy, Black Friday, Perfumes, Month End Sale, Lockdown, Mask, Orders, Combo, Year End Clearance, New Set, Black Friday, Happy Client, Important Clearance, 80% Clearance, Orders, Clearance, Summer Hats, Combos, Heels, Blazers, Sale, Winter Coat, Celebrate, 7 Years, Straw Hats, Handbags, Air Force, and Emoji Slippers. Quite a lot, okay? Um, quite a lot. And um, I started talking to them. On the 6th of January at half past four, I saw a picture. It said Black Friday. Now, this picture was posted last year on the 28th of November, 2020. It said Black Friday sale, three quarter bodycon dress, size extra small till two extra large, available for 130 Rand. 
colors are only white, black, and brown. Then they say DM to place your order. So it's not in their bio, it's in the caption. Now this was in November and it was Black Friday. So I assumed that maybe it wouldn't be there, but you know, tata my chance, you might just tata my millions and that's exactly what I did. So I said, hi, do you have this dress available in size extra large, black or brown? And that was on the 6th of January at half past four. On the 6th of January at night at eight minutes past eight, they said, hi, available. And then they sent like a copy and paste message. They said, hi, dear, if you're not paying now, kindly please check availability with me before paying, please. These items, they say these items are in high demand. It's these. These items are in high demand. They said this. Okay. Anyway, minor stuff. And then they gave their capital number, their capital account number. Um, then they gave their standard bank account number, like the phone number, um, and their FNB. Oh no. Then they gave. Wait. They gave their capital phone number and their capital account number, their standard bank account number or FNB, check account, reference is your name or your number, account holder is Mashila Anzani and then it says let me know after payment and send your full address, then it says we no longer take cardless payment, APSA cash send, you can EFT, NB, no refunds but we do allow exchange within seven days of delivery, they do not mention if those are business days or just in J. Please note that there is no return or exchange on clearance sale items. Please note, we have a huge customer base and your patience will highly be required before you place your order. Not appreciated, not noted, it is required, highly so. Your patience will highly be required before you place your order, before you, you even exchange the stuff. Okay, Koya is 99 Rand. It takes plus minus two or four days after dispatch. They do not mention once again if this is business days. If you guys are running a business, make sure that you mention if this is business days or not. This will protect you in the long run. Okay, so they say two to four days, um, two or four days, plus minus two or four days after dispatch, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So they only send out orders. So Aramex collects orders from them on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then PS, be patient in case there is any backlog. And then they have an emoji and say WhatsApp is offline. Very interesting. I wonder why or how their WhatsApp is offline. Or maybe this person who manages this is just exhausted, honestly. So that was sent to me on the 6th of January at 8 minutes past 8 at 9. And I made sure on the 7th of January at 22 minutes past 10 that I sent them a screenshot of my proof of payment. I made a payment of 230 Rand, which means this item that was shown and advertised last year in November for Black Friday, I managed to purchase it at the Black Friday price in January. Very interesting. Okay, so I sent them a message said, good morning, I have made payment. I need brown. If it's sold out, then black will do. Size extra large or 38. My address is, and I gave them all the information. Okay, so that was on the 7th of January at 22 past 10 in the morning. On the 7th of January, about an hour later, at 29 minutes past 11 in the morning, they said, thanks, noted. That was on the 7th. The 8th, the 9th, the 10th, oh sorry, no, I'm wrong, yeah, okay, so that was on the 7th at 11.29, now I want you guys to take note of something, Korea is 99 Rand and it takes two, it takes plus minus two or four days after dispatch on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I'm not sure what the 7th of January was, um, let me quickly check for you guys so that we're on the same page. I get my dispatcher Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So 7th of January when I sent my proof of payment and the when I sent my proof of payment was the 7th of January, which is a Thursday. 7th January 2021. You guys can check it on your calendar. It is a Thursday. Okay? This is very important stuff, guys. Take note. Let's follow. 7 January, when they acknowledged that they received my payment um, in the morning at 22 past 10, I sent them my proof of payment. That was a Thursday. On that same day, at 29 past 11, they said thanks noted. 7th January, right? So if they're saying they dispatch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you would assume 
and come to the conclusion that they would send out my order the next day since they acknowledged that they received my payment on the 8th of January. So what they did is they got my payment on the 7th and acknowledged it and it was a Thursday and they were supposed to process on a Friday because Monday, Wednesday, Friday they process. They send out your orders, RMX collects them. But the 8th passed, the 9th passed, the 10th passed, the 11th at 19 minutes past 8 they sent me um, my RMX way bill. It's just a picture showing my name, um, my number, my address, and that's pretty much it. It does not show that information and where it's from. It literally just shows my information, okay? And it has the tracking number up there. So that was 11 January. I just want to check what day it is. That was the Monday, because remember they processed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So instead of processing on that Friday, they processed on the next processing day, which is Monday. Take note of that because they do not mention their processing time. They only talk about the delivery time, okay? Which is that plus minus two to four days after dispatch, which they still do not say if it's business days or not. Guys, your, your, your terms and conditions, your terminology is very important, okay? Um, because somebody else will literally say, no, take it back. I don't want it because I had an event and this thing is going to come late. If you are sending it on Friday, like your policy says, you send on Mondays, Wednesday and Friday, then I would get it on Monday because I'm in a mainline area. And if Monday I had an event where I needed that dress or Tuesday, then I would have gotten it. But you're only sending me my tracking number on the Monday. Okay. So that's 11 January, 19 minutes past 8 in the morning. 11 January at 3 in the afternoon, I said, thank you. 11 January. 13 January, which means 12, 13, they said two to four days for delivery. I said, good morning, I just received my order, thank you. So they do keep to that delivery um, estimate, okay? Which it is an estimate, they do state that it's two plus minus four days, okay? So let's see the dress. Um, I actually wanted the brown one, but with online orders, guys, especially with Instagram boutiques and these people where you can't just place your order on a website and whatever, you want to get to the point. So what I will normally do is I will give you all the options. So I'll say, um, if you don't have brown, give me black. If you don't have 38, give me 36. Like I'll give you all the options, especially if I've already paid, I'm going to get that item. And if it's sold out, give me something similar and I'll tell you in advance so that we don't have a conversation that takes longer. I don't want to be the reason why your processing time is longer. I don't want to be the reason why your delivery is taking longer than it should be. I want to make sure that on my side, I'm as efficient as possible. Okay, so RMX, here it is. I ordered one item. Guys, if you're not sure about an Instagram boutique, order one item, a small item. This is 130 Rand plus delivery. Order something small, okay? Don't go there ordering some palazzo pants for 1.5. Don't. Please. Love yourself. Okay, so here it is. We're going to first check the sizing. And it is extra large, which is what I requested. And it is a black. I will leave the picture on the side for you guys to see what I saw and why I wanted it. Just so that you guys can see it. And the tag says I fashion. And it just says I fashion. So for me, as far as I know, I fashion is all over a small street. So, yeah, most Instagram boutiques are just reselling. It's nothing original, it's, some, it's nothing new, and most of them are not even importing like special stuff from their own suppliers or from their own factory. It's just somewhere in Small Street where they came across something and they bought 100 of them or 50 of them or 20 of them, or they go to New Feeling or something of the sort, or they go somewhere in Durban, somewhere in Cape Town. Um, it's not... I could say what it is wrong. I saw like Motorana or or had the design from a production line. They're reselling from somebody who bought. So that also contributes to the prices you guys are seeing because sellers in Small Street and Marabastat are either buying from New Feeling or they're going from the factory straight and importing it themselves. Um, and they're buying in groups together. Whereas Instagram sellers are buying from those people who already bought from somewhere else. So it increases the prices. But you guys will see the exact same advertisement, the exact same pictures. Um, most of them won't invest in something else. Like, it's very simple, guys. If you know you have the same stuff as everyone else, to put yourself ahead, to allow yourself to have a bigger profit margin and to attract an audience that you may find more pleasant and pleasurable to be around, to service, 
um, who don't negotiate or want to fight with you for money, get a nice place, go to a park, whatever, take your own original pictures, watermark them, and you can really put yourself ahead simply by doing something like that. It's the extra effort. Okay, so we're going to put it on in a size extra large. I will tell you this for Mahala, for Zilch, it is see through, but I'm a chocolate girl, so you won't see it on me, guys. Let's put this on. Like, put on a cute ass outfit and walk in front of your camera at 0.3x speed and tell me you don't feel like a bad thing. Yeah, ho, yeah, I know that you can talk. You talking all this shit, but let me see if you can walk. Uh, let me see if you the dress we cannot deny how cute it is it looks just like the picture and because i am a millionaire queen like most of you guys uh, you can't really see how see-through it is so it looks fantastic guys uh, i think there's a misconception that like small street and new feeling and marawa start clothing is bad quality there's really some good quality and then great quality and even excellent quality items available there and most Instagram boutiques stock there as well so which means they can also have good to great quality items so yeah fantastic sassy divas thank you so much for being yet another black South African business doing good business really good to see this guys so guys it looks like I forgot to mention my issue with Instagram boutiques which I see with sassy divas is the sneaker situation we spoke about this in the sneaker episode on my channel where I went to my rubber start they do not mention that these sneakers that they're selling are unauthorized or replica from the styles they have available and the looks of it I know these replica unauthorized fake sneakers it looks like it's them and another thing their pricing for these white air forces is 650 rand which makes perfect sense because at small street you can get these air forces for 300 or 350 or even 250 depending on who you talk to and how much you buy of them so if you check that caption they do not mention if these are fake these are unauthorized um if these are replicas they do not mention that and i hate that about instagram boutiques you need to be transparent with your customers the people who are buying these who really think they're buying the real thing and I would think that these are not real. I'm not going to go on record and say they're fake, but I would insinuate from the pricing and what I'm seeing here that these are fake. Um, and I don't appreciate that about Instagram boutiques. Guys, when you buy these, most of the time they come in the Nike box, which is like 15 Rand, 18 Rand, 20 Rand. I showed you guys that on my channel. So guys, please buy with caution. I would highly recommend buying from an authorized retailer for these type of sneakers. For anyone wondering why my voice sounds extra velvety today, it's because I drank tea out of a smeg kettle. And you know, the things happen when you do such things. So, that is why. Yo guys, I am completely joking. No, let's get back to the video. I'm very excited about this series. So please let me know if there's any other small South African Instagram boutique that you want me to review. Preferably a black female owned one. So I can review it for you guys and just spend my money on it. I go undercover. Nobody's gifting me these items. Nobody gives them to me. I spend my money just like you. Sometimes they say WhatsApp and then I have to take my undercover number and add this contact to WhatsApp and wait for them to answer and, and, and. I go through all the motions just like you guys because I am a buyer, a consumer just like you guys. So I'm going to link them in the description box. If you've purchased from them, please let me know because I'm really curious of where this following is from, where the engagement is. I mean, I understand they don't respond to comments. You know, who wants to buy from a company that doesn't respond? Guys, Sassy Divas, please work on that, darling, please. Um, but other than that, like, I'm really curious. Did they buy the account? Did they buy followers? Um, I know some of you guys are really good with discovering fake influencers and fake accounts and stuff like that. You guys can check, like, is it Social Blade or something like that, where they can check, like, how fast you grew and, you know, if it's robots or something like that. I know some of you guys can do that. If anyone has the analytics, I'm very curious. Like, make you curious. I'm very curious. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.